Hi, Joe. How are you? Oh, a letter. Oh, you're going back to work. That's great. All right. Okay, I see there's a few issues here, but we'll get you in to see the doctor and we'll talk to the doctor about it, see what they want to do. And definitely, I think this is definitely something that we can achieve. I'm so excited for you. All right, let's take you in. We'll speak to the doctor and I'll change your wound dressing. Hi, Joe. It's really good to see you. Hoping in this appointment today, we could address some of those immediate barriers to you getting back to work and also a few long-term goals for your health. From what you've told me, the immediate barriers for you returning to work are your depression and anxiety, increased fatigue, arthritic pain, and issues with your balance. With this in mind, I'd like to refer you to a dietitian, an exercise physiologist, and organize a review with your mental health team. And after that, we can create a return to work plan that's best for you. I'll see you the same time next week. Hi guys, thanks for being available to meet today. We're just meeting to discuss Joe Costa, um, a patient of mine who would like to return to work after taking four months off. Her barriers to returning to work at, moment, at the moment are her um, mental health issues. Um, she's having issues with balance and mobility and arthritic pain, and she's also having issues with her diet and ongoing fatigue. Um, I'd like to discuss with you guys ways that we can all help to organise a return to work plan for her. Yeah, Claire, I think that sounds really good, I agree. Uh, we definitely need some kind of plan to help her get back to work. Um, what are you thinking about medications at the moment? Right, um, I just noticed a few medications. Uh, so she's taking a lot of, lot of medications yeah. for her yeah. condition. So I noticed something cut down and then just a little bit change with her medication to uh, better, better health. Yeah. So yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the medication for five with uh, Amanda. Yeah. So yeah, what do you think about it? Yeah, sounds good. I mean, I think, yeah, like, like you mentioned, she's on a lot of medications. So I think one of the main things is that we need to look at that and see what we can take her off, yeah. if if possible, and then we'll go from there, I think. Yeah. I think that, that that's probably one, uh, the number one priority we need to look at, mm -hmm. um, along with managing her pain, yeah. um, of course her mental health problems as well. And Yeah, I know she's worked with us for a few years now since her diagnosis, and yeah. I'm keen to start some cognitive behavioural therapy with her, oh, yeah, and good. maybe a depression management plan. I think that would be good with her return to work. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. One of the last priorities that we need to discuss is her drowsiness and energy levels. Obviously that's a big concern if she was to try and mm -hmm. get back to work. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I think Jo yeah. needs better sources of dietary energy. Like, yep. she's taking way too much food with um, high GI. Mm -hmm. And I'll discuss a selection of low GI foods with her, um, something that she likes and work from there. And in terms of her weight, um, I'll draft up a calorie restriction plan for her mm -hmm. and then incorporate a diet low in salt to better manage her hypertension as well. Yeah. yeah. Okay, sounds good. Mm -hmm. um, well, we can definitely help you with that, with getting back to work. Um, for now, our short-term goals will be Definitely to manage your pain, because I think that's the most important thing. Um, and exercise can definitely help with that. Um, also, we'll, we'll be looking to try and improve your levels of physical activity as well, because we want to be, um, we want to be trying to get into a habit of exercising a bit more. So uh, we finally agreed uh, to change some of your medication so that you can return um, to work. So um, for example, uh, you now take uh, condesatin four eight milligram instead of a four milligram. So so you're now taking a uh, rosvastatin instead of uh, atovastatin. So uh, there are a few things more. So I just made this note for you, and then this is uh, you you are um, changing the new medication list. So just please have a look, and then if you have any questions, so please feel free to contact me. And I'm a man diet dietitian, and I got a plan for us. So we will try to keep your uh, new diet as close to your usual diet um, as possible to make it more enjoyable for you and also easier to stick to. All right, does that sound good to you? Hey Joe, I'm Erin, the mental health nurse. Um, I've spoken to your GP and she mentioned that um, you've got a return to work plan. How do you feel about it? All right, well, I think it's important that we discuss with your boss, um, your hours, and the resources that your work can provide um, if you're feeling overwhelmed on the job. Also, we want um, some cognitive behavioral therapy. We think it'll be really good for you. Um, it's gonna help with your anxiety. Um, and we'd like to start a depression management plan um, where you schedule something each day, whether it's social, active, or something you enjoy, just to make sure that you're keeping on top of things. How are you coping with your medication changes? Please contact me if you have any help, um, if you need any help or you have any questions. 
All right, see you later. Hey Joe, it's good to see you again. I've heard from the pharmacist, dietitian, and exercise physiologist. With the information they've given me, I've been able to put together a return to work plan that I think will work for you. I've spoken to the exercise physiologist who's given you some exercises and outlined that you're okay to resume the duties that your job requires. So if you'd like, I could put our plan into a letter and if they have any concerns, they're able to contact me. Would that be okay? Wonderful. Good luck with returning to work, Joe. I'm sure it'll go really well. And I'll see you in a fortnight for a review.